Hello everybody, Sting Splash back with uh, part 7, I think it is, of this uh, chronological UK Blu-ray still review. Uh, a little later than I wanted today, but uh, it's still, well, it's only 3 o'clock. I wanted to try and get it done before lunch, but we'll get it underway now. Uh, so another 20 steelbooks, and we're going to start off with uh, number 121, which is Zulu. This was uh, part of the wave we saw in the last video with Shutter Island, and um, uh, what else was the Godfather? Forest Gump, I think, as well. Uh, so it's just left over, really, from there. Uh, this is another play exclusive, but it's now available everywhere and uh, still for a pretty cheap price. Lovely glossy steelbook on this one. Uh, nice uh, sort of classic design on the front as well. But, uh, inside out look as well. Uh, Michael Caine there. And the, the regular, or at least it's not clear, see through grey panel disc. Uh, so yeah, you can still pick this one up really cheap, uh, but it's a good steal. So that uh, finishes off that week, which was the 10th of September. So the following week we only have one uh, steelbook release, and that was the HMB exclusive of Avengers Assemble. Now, um, I think many people expected this to sell out, you know, very very fast after Iron Man and uh, and Captain America and Thor, but it's still available to this day. But it is starting to get uh, harder. To, to pick up now, uh, you know, from a, an HMB store. Um, it is still an HMB exclusive, it hasn't been uh, sold off or anything, uh, or sold by any other companies. Uh, got the nice uh, Agent of Shield logo on the back, and uh, it's a very thinly uh, embossed cover as well. It's a bit odd how they did it. Uh, a lot of people don't like this because of the fact that the spine has the characters going down it, but. Uh, a word of warning, they're doing the same for Thor 2. So, <laughs> if you didn't like this one, you're not going to like the Thor 2 for that, because it won't match Thor, but I'm not that fussed. Uh, so, yeah, there's a, an advert actually, it's interesting. Uh, an advert for Lego Marvel Superheroes. Um, and didn't that just come out on as a PlayStation game? Or I think in something else, I think it did. And other systems as well, but. So there's your uh, Paramount Blue Disc, which you get basically every sort of Disney-related type film. At least the inside out looks really, really awesome. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, I've got the 3D uh, Amaray now as well, but just a shame that uh, it wasn't a little bit more exclusive. Um, in fact, I had three copies of this for a long, long time, which uh, in the last few months I managed to sell off. Uh, the two that I had left over broke even, so that was alright, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you can get it for about £15, I think. 15 20 quid. Alright, uh, well, the next one up is another HMB exclusive. This was the following week. This is 24th of September. And it's the uh, first of five steelbooks for that week. The Cabin in the Woods. And, um, yeah, this one, there was a little bit of a... Uh, clambering to get this one when it first came out. Because uh, I think if you hadn't pre-ordered it, it was, it was basically pulled from sale. Because the disc, uh, the Blu-ray disc, had some uh, error on it. Some author and error or something. So it's pulled from sale. Um, they sent everyone replacement, uh, you know, replacement uh, discs. But uh, for a long time, uh, this was sort of going this crazy money because everyone thought, oh, it's getting pulled from sales and it's going to come back. Uh, of course, it did, and it's still available now um, with the repackaged disc. Although it's, it's hard to find a sealed copy, so sealed copies are still worth quite a bit because a lot of the, uh, a lot of them were uh, resealed with the new disc. So there is the disc. And the inside artwork there, and this is a definitely a film that uh, wasn't anything like what I was expecting. Nice artwork, and uh, yeah, very, very creepy, very freaky stuff. Um, awesome, awesome reveals as well. Now, on the same day, then we have uh, two Eureka releases, and uh, one of my uh, viewers and subscribers basically uh, mentioned to me about the Master of Cinema releases. And uh, yeah, this one is number 34 because the film was made in 1934, Cleopatra, the original Cleopatra. Um, and with this one as well, it's, it's a bit odd because they haven't put uh, the name of the film on it, it's, uh, it's a complete blank, which is nice. Um, but yeah, they only did this for like four Master and Cinema releases where they matched up the uh, year of the film to the number. That was Island of Lost Souls, Cleopatra, and the, uh, the two that I showed uh, in a previous video. Um, double indemnity in the last weekend. They were all uh, after their own years 
already. So we have a nice thick booklet, and we've got double play release Blu ray and DVD. And uh, yeah, the whole uh, still book is sort of very gold in, uh, in uh, style, just uh, a, a bit different, but this is still uh, available and probably a lot cheaper than what I paid for, that's for sure. And on the same, on the same day, we had uh, a second release from Eureka, and that was the testament of Dr. Mabuse, and again, they uh, didn't put the name on the, uh, the steelbook. Very odd uh, looking uh, picture as well. Uh, very freaky, but, you know, Eureka do very good at artwork for their releases. They do put the effort in. Uh, here we have another uh, even thicker than usual booklet, very heavy, and the uh, the Blu-ray and DVD discs, which at least have different artwork, which is always nice. And uh, I think that's DVD. I think it was a double play. Doesn't actually mention it's a DVD on that one. Uh, fair enough. But uh, yeah, there's the uh, the inside artwork there. Um, and again, this is still available. I think these are about uh, ten, twelve pound now. A lot cheaper than these to be. But then they are over a year old, so that makes sense. If they're not out of print, they, they do drop. So uh, on the same day, Arrow decided to bring out another steelbook, and that was uh, Lady Snowblood uh, 1 and 2, um, or Lady Snowblood and Lady Snowblood uh, Love Song of Vengeance. And uh, this is some nice artwork here. They put the, the whole title on the side as well. Um, this one, uh, this one's still available, but it's. Apparently, uh, according to Arrow, it's on their uh, out of print list. Like it's you know it's sort of like running out of stock, but I'm pretty sure it's still available elsewhere as well. So we've got the booklet, um, random postcard for the exterminator or El Exterminador. Um, there's the Blu-ray. It's just one Blu-ray for two films, um, which may be one of the reasons why it's sort of uh, it's a nice artwork as well inside. I think people maybe expected them both on different discs, I don't know, but uh, I don't think there's many special features. I can't really remember, I haven't got the back in the sheet on this. It's in a box with loads of others. But yeah, it's, it is still available. Uh, this next one though, the final release for the 24th of September, is uh, is not available. At least not in this country. It's The Raid, uh, one of the best steelbooks of 2012 for me. Uh, lovely uh, sort of debossed houses there, we've got the title is debossed as well and even had debossing on the title on the back and on the windows as well so one of those very rare uh, you know double debosses if you like but it, it's uh, it's not thin it's not uh, flexible like Django Unchained or anything uh, inside we have the disc and uh, inside artwork but yeah this one sold out very quickly after release and um, it did shoot up in price to around £40 I know it has come down slightly now because of the fact that uh, I think it's a German uh, release that's uh, the same. I don't know if it's got the the same uh, debossing or anything, but it's it's the same cover I've seen. So someone might, if they have the German version, they might be able to tell me. But uh, whenever a you know an import version is released, the original is always going to suffer a little bit. But uh, you know, I'm sure a sealed copy is still uh, still got some value. So uh, yes, on to October now, first of October, and uh, we have a few releases here, uh, two. Uh, first up, we have Snow White and the Huntsman. This is from the uh, Collector's Edition box set. Uh, version, a bit like how uh, Scarface was from the Cigar Box Edition. Uh, they haven't done this since Universal, they needed two. And, uh, this is still available, the uh, the box, the limited edition box set is still available. In fact, I have a sealed extra copy I haven't been able to shift. Um, but uh, really nice glossy steelbook, lovely artwork there as well. And uh, it's a nice inside artwork too. And it's a nice collector's box set, but it just has no value whatsoever, really. Um, maybe one day I'll get rid of it, but uh, again, there's been no takers so far for that one. I've listed it on eBay so many times. Um, but yeah, and also on the same day, the 1st of October 2012, we had uh, another play exclusive, and that was uh, Terminator. And this was uh, new to Blu ray at the time. And uh, yeah, a lot of people were really, really uh, happy about this one coming out. Um, nice uh, sort of matte finish, embossed title and border. Uh, really cool artwork. And uh, as well with the second film and the fourth. We still don't have a, a Terminator 3 UK steel, but I have the German one. And there's the inside artwork as well. But yeah, this one was selling for £40. Pretty consistently for a long time. 
but again I think this has dropped somewhat um, back down to a reasonable level so you should still be able to pick this up but uh, maybe not sealed but certainly unsealed in mint condition you should be able to pick it up for 20-25 pounds so yes did you say with the rough comes the smooth well we've had the smooth now here's the rough uh, it's the 8th of October and uh, we've got a really terrible terrible wave uh, quite probably the worst steelbooks ever released in the UK certainly for Blu-ray and uh, they came from uh, sort of like Touchstone Columbia whatever it is but yeah this wave of Armageddon starting with Armageddon here um, and you'll see the rest come on this isn't even the worst I don't think um, it's pretty black but this has got a nice logo but yeah it's, it's almost just a black steel book but it's still not the worst of the lot um, no one's had work on any of these as well by the way there's your disc uh, these are I think 10 11 pounds and apparently they're all out of print according to the list I'm looking at but I don't believe they are um, I think this, I think you can still get them, but I know at least one or two of them are, st are starting to creep up to like 15 quid now. So there's Armageddon, and uh, this is the one that's the worst for me, is uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance, and uh, so much to actually have with this two dings on the side where it's being pinched in next to the steelbox, and I can't be bothered to get it changed, uh, because I didn't want to pay £11 in the first place, I certainly don't want to pay £15 odd now, whatever it is, to get a copy. Um, there's just no excuse for that, it's absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, you know, they just put no effort in whatsoever with these. These ones are going to be quick to look. I only want to look at these. This, here's the only decent one of the whole wave. This Con Air. They actually put some effort in. Just so odd that the, the rest of them they didn't even bother with really. And this one, they actually uh, give it a nice design. And if they've been some embossing on the front there, this could have been one of the best steel books of the year. Um, but, you know, they were just cheap cash ins. And thankfully, they haven't been back really to do many more. There's been a few, Dick Tracy and Sixth Sense and Starship Troopers, and, and they've all fallen in price as well. So, uh, my advice would be never buy or never pre order um, you know, sort of Tri Star or whatever it's Disney style. I know it's not Disney, but the same company, Buena Vista. I don't even know what you would, what you would say about these Columbia Tri Star, whatever they are. Um, you know, there's The Rock. These are just terrible steelbooks. So let's uh, wash our mouth out now with um, something a little bit nicer. And this was a play exclusive. This sold out pretty quickly as well. Prometheus 3D. And um, yeah, this one's out of print. 3D release. Uh, nice uh, sort of glossy release. I remember this was one of the first ones I actually bought two copies of to make sure I got a mint one. And uh, amazingly enough, this, the first one I opened was fine. The second one, I, uh, sorry, the first one I opened was damaged. The second one I opened was mint. So it went back uh, for a refund. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's one of the only times it's actually paid off where I bought two and it's actually worked out well. So yeah, there's Prometheus special features disc. Uh, I'll take these out, the back artwork, and also the movie, and then there's the Prometheus 3D disc as well. It's a nice uh, three disc release. It's a nice back artwork as well. Um, put the 3D there, actually, I think. Yeah, good stuff and uh, a lot better than what we'd seen um, with those previous steelbooks. So this one was quite expensive, I remember. I think it's about £25, £26. A lot of people complain about that, but actually it's pretty commonplace for a 3D steelbook now. Uh, but this was over a year ago, so times have changed. Uh, right, so now we are moving on to the following week, 15th of October. And uh, I think every, yeah, everything else now is off from the 15th of October for this uh, video. Up first we have the h &B exclusive uh, Chernobyl Diaries, I think that's how you see it. Um, and uh, yeah, this one's still available, uh, matte finish, still release. So yeah, you should be able to pick this up uh, pretty cheap now in your local h &B. And uh, not, really, not really a lot to say about it. It's Studio Canal, again, they made far too many. Now this next one is still available and uh, I don't even think it's an h &B exclusive anymore. I think other places have sold it. But uh, I really like this film. It's, uh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. Dark Shadows, uh, Tim Burton movie starring Johnny Depp, of course, and Helena Bonham Carter. I've uh, got to have the wifey there. And uh, there's also Chloe Moretz, who's pretty much awesome in everything she's in. Uh, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eva Green, uh, Johnny, Lee, Johnny Lee Miller as well. Great cast, great artwork as well. And uh, it's a nice family portrait on the inside too. Um, but yeah, 
uh, really good stuff and as I said it's, it's cheap as chips so pick it up. Yeah, as I said I think you can get it for about 5 now in HMB so yeah pick it up good stuff now uh, next up we have a, a bit of an anomaly it's uh, Hot Fuzz the player exclusive from the Universal Wave um, as you noticed, I've shown all the other ones in recent videos, but uh, this one was a uh, holdover basically. It, it got re uh, delayed a couple of times. I think it was supposed to come out at the same time as, as uh, Shaun of the Dead, and in the end, it ended up coming up on its coming out on its own on the 15th of September, uh, 15th of October, sorry. Um, so yeah, we have the disc there, and this one at least has the artwork going all the way down. Pretty cool stuff, and on on the back as well, shoulder back. We have. Uh, Big cops, small town, moderate violence. Uh, so yeah, this was another uh, ten pound rectangle edition release. So we're coming out of the final three now. These are all from another uh, Paramount Wave. We finished the last video with one. We're finishing this one with one as well. Of course, we have Collateral. Um, this is uh, being marked down as out of print, which I don't believe it is. Uh, but I could be wrong, but I think it's. I think it's still available. Uh, to be honest, um, now this one's got a nice glossy finish. Uh, nice back artwork as well, and uh, nice inside artwork too. And I remember uh, I actually pre ordered the German edition uh, two hours before this was announced, and it's too late to cancel. I've still got that sealed uh, German edition, which is identical to this, uh, which I can't give away. I've tried, <laughs> I haven't tried giving it away, but I've certainly tried to, to sell it off cheap, uh, cheaper than this version, and uh, still no takers. So, yeah, it's another one of those that's. Uh, a bad decision that I made there, you know, if I just waited two hours I couldn't, I would never have bought it and there you go. Uh, so okay, so the next one from this uh, little Paramount Wave is Transformers, um, these are all play exclusives uh, at the time they're not now um, and uh, this one again says it's out of print but I don't believe it is, all of these say they're out of print but I don't believe they are, they're still available from Savvy I've seen. Um, and again, I have a sealed copy of this that I bought because I thought it was going to go out of print after I got this one. I thought, that's nice. Uh, nice uh, embossed title going to the side there. Nice border. Uh, really cool back artwork as well. But still available. So I actually have a, se actually have a sealed copy of the, of the UK trilogy. Um, and I also have to, still have the German 2 and 3 editions to sell. Way too many Transformers. Um, only one disc as well, so it's why I'm keeping the German 2 disc edition. Uh, way too many uh, Transformers, but there is, that's for sure. And there's the inside artwork as well, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's uh, you know, you can pay it for about £10 and it's definitely a good purchase to get. I would uh, definitely recommend it. And uh, the final one for this video, which uh, is over 15 minutes, but not by long, it's uh, another really nice one, War of the Worlds. Um, I think this one might be out of print, actually. Um, but it's certainly harder to find than the rest because it is a lot nicer than people expected. Um, I think a lot of people expected it to be a bit like Collateral. And it would have no embossing or anything, but it has a lovely uh, embossed title there, nice border. And okay, would well, you have Adam and Eve that my uh, <laughs> my usual uh, camera has uh, run out of battery? I thought I was going to get through, but uh, it's dead. So instead of waiting hours and hours to uh, do the last bit, I'll film it old school on my old uh, on my old camera. So yes, this is uh, War of the Worlds, and uh, the inside artwork there, but. Yeah, this one definitely sort of surprised a few people. Uh, they didn't expect it to sell so quickly. Okay, so <laughs> quick, um, and just to uh, sort of uh, recap on things, then that's uh, the first 140. We'll be back with numbers 141 to 160, which uh, continues this wave with uh, Watchmen, and we have one of the 15th of October release. Um, which is Wrath of the Titans 3D and then that'll take us all the way through to number 160 which is Clash of the Titans from uh, the Warner Premium collection in uh, November 12th of November so uh, yeah that'll do for this video thanks again for watching and I'll see you again very soon until next time thanks for watching, take care